Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, I'm going to do a ROM review, not for Redmi Note 8. So this time we are going to do for Redmi Note 6 Pro. So this this device is about uh, maybe four or five years old. So let's go and check. So I have already flushed the ROM. It's Pixel experience and based on the 13, let's go and check our above phone and other things. So I haven't installed much apps on this ROM actually. So it's, as you can see, the apps are not much but i will tell you the pros and cons of this rom and what is working what is not working so at first let's go check so android version is 13 and security patch level is like november 5 2022 and other thing is here so setting and other things is as like as stock and the 13 there is nothing new and if you are using the like my ui so if you come to this rom you will get some benefits and there are some cons as I said so I will tell you that too so first of all let's check what we are getting with us from so we are getting very uh, little apps and one of them is like we are getting uh, G, uh, Gcam go with this ROM and you can install other Gcam there but there is a big problem with camera I will tell you that too and other apps like you can install Magix, Magix is working and if you go to the safety net part, so if I check safety net, safety net is not working here, so it's failed. I don't know, maybe if I use magic height, it will work, but I don't know right now. And as I said, I will talk about the pros and cons. So first of all, let's go with the cons, then I will tell you the pros. So if I go with the cons, first of the cons will be camera app. So if I even open the camera app, Mostly it freezes, it doesn't take with uh, photos or videos. If you take videos, sometimes the sound will not be recorded. Even if we, you see, the app is freeze, it frozen now, so it doesn't work. As you can see, you cannot take any photos, so it doesn't work. Even with another apps like this Gcam, this one also does not work properly, so I can take photo one. It's working now, but after some time it doesn't work. Even if I take the video, it cannot record the audio so I have tried it and with another apps it's still the same and it lags even when you go to like security option there is face uh, unlock option even when you go to do that they, uh, they will not scan your face and it will fail literally so you cannot do that too so face scan also does not work on this ROM but uh, fingerprint does work so uh, this is one of the cons of this ROM and another cons of this ROM is that the double tap to wake up does not work. As you can see, even you do double tap here, it doesn't work. So double tap to wake up does not work here. I don't know why. I haven't found this kind of issue on any other ROMs I have used in many phones. I did not get that kind of thing. Like it's available in this display setting that you can use like in tap to wake up, but it does not work here. I don't know why. And everything other than that, it's on most mostly working. So if I go to hotspot option, let's see, we are getting uh, five gigahertz band or not. So we are not getting any kind of five gigahertz band here too. So if you use your phone as a hotspot, you cannot share five gigahertz band with this drone. And uh, these are the few cons actually. Other than that, there is nothing to say because it's purely stock. There is nothing else here to talk about. Other than that, it's a complete good drone. But um, but it's not a daily driver ROM. So about the cons of this ROM, so if you are using MIUI, when you come to this ROM, you will feel the smoothness of this ROM and also the battery backup. So battery backup is very good on this ROM. I have tried it and the battery backup is awesome on this ROM. Although this phone officially may be running on Android 8 right now, but we have updated to Android 13, but still it's far better than MIUI ROM you will get with this ROM. So maybe this one we're running on my word 12 when I flashed this ROM a few days ago and it was very laggy actually. It, it was, the experience was not that great but in this ROM it is really good actually. Only the fact that the camera is, I have problem. Another call, uh, pros, you can adjust other things like you want to do. So if you code to your ad setting and others so you can do that too. And as it is, this is a plus version of Pixel Experience UI so you can change your battery logo and other things a bit not much and 
So these are the pros of this ROM and cons are only two cons, but a lot of pros because it's very stable ROM and the fingerprint is really good on this ROM. It's just, you just touch it and it will unlock. There is no fin, nothing like that. But the face scan is not working, as I said, and the camera app has work. And rather than that, this is completely okay ROM. But if you use main caps on your phone, maybe this ROM is not for you because it's filled uh, as I said, safety net pass, it doesn't pass the safety net. And this ROM is actually not an official ROM. This is an official version of Pixel Experience for this phone. I could not able to find any official Android 13 based ROM for this phone. Maybe I will find Android 12 based ROM. So this is all about this ROM. And I will put the link in the description below you can flash it. So GCAMs come with this ROM, you don't need to flash GFs. Uh, separately so it's a, but if you want magisk you have to flash magisk and magisk does work properly there is no issue with that so I, i'll put the link in the description below and in future i will i will review more roms for redmi note 6 pro uh also redmi note 8 so that's it about this rom thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time so please